Here now with Alex Sands and Alex, you and I know the image that you're seeing right there. A lot of people saying it resembles an angel. Listen. Whoa. Stay inside, baby. What the fuck is that? I heard rumbling and, you know, I see clear skies. It was just insanity. Like, I'm surprised the kids didn't wake up. That's how loud it was at my house. To have one so close to home that actually made that, like, boom sound. Every day, people everywhere look up to the sky, searching for comfort, sparks of ideas, or a touch of wonder. Yet there are times when the sky itself tells stories, showing us mysteries that leave even the brightest among us in awe. These sky-born mysteries, ranging from ancestral legends to present-day puzzles, hold secrets that our beliefs struggle to fathom. Let's embark on a journey to discover the truth behind some of the most bewildering sightings that have ever graced the heavens. Take, for example, a peculiar occurrence in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Back in June 2015, vacationers were left agape when they witnessed two figures, akin to humans, soaring through the sky, only to vanish as quickly as they appeared. It sparked a debate were these visitors celestial messengers, given the signs and wonders spoken of in times past. Meanwhile, in the far reaches of Mongolia, observers were left scratching their heads at the sight of a creature in the sky that defied description, a hybrid of snake, crocodile, and the dragons of Chinese lore. Some locals mused that it was the stuff of legend brought to life, while others contemplated the possibility of a living fossil, a creature from an era long past. This fusion of ancient lore and prehistoric life painted a picture shrouded in mystery. Over in the bustling city of Shanghai, a couple's ordinary day took a turn for the extraordinary when, amidst a selfie session, an alien-like figure soared into view. Acting fast, they captured images of this otherworldly visitor, its form reminiscent of the Zerg from the StarCraft gaming universe creatures famed for rapid reproduction strategic swarming, and adaptive evolution. This blurring of reality and fiction sparked a city-wide curiosity about the potential for extraterrestrial visitation right in our urban backyards. And that's not all. The quiet skies over Nebraska in the balmy August of 2019 served as the backdrop for an equally astounding spectacle. A lone onlooker was struck by the sight of a person ascending a stairway crafted from clouds, drawing the attention of passers-by who pondered if they were witnessing a soul's journey to the pearly gates. This spectacle touched the spiritual cord for many, stirring within them a feeling of the divine. Down in South Carolina, during an October day of 2016, a resident was treated to an awe-inspiring vision as an angelic form materialized from a cloud against the crisp backdrop of a blue sky. Urged by a profound sense of witnessing the divine, he shared his encounter of this miraculous vision, a cloud suddenly taking the shape of an angel, signifying perhaps a message from above, or for the skeptics, a play of nature easily misconstrued as otherworldly. Nor was Texas left out of such celestial dramas. Amidst the canvas of clouds, a local man discerned a white, angelic silhouette. Upon closer examination, this apparent anomaly in the cloud formation revealed itself to be a distinct, heavenly being perched atop the clouds, evoking imagery of a snowy mountaintop. It was a scene that dared onlookers to question if they had truly seen all the wonders the sky has to offer. These sightings, encompassing heavenly figures over Brazil, mythic beasts in Mongolia, visitors from beyond in Shanghai, and other assorted celestial phenomena, contribute to the tapestry of unexplained mysteries. They invite us to consider the grand design and the profound interweaving of faith and the cosmos. Whether these events are indeed signals from a higher power or simply quirks of nature, 
They challenge us to expand our understanding, inspire us to seek a deeper connection with the divine, and most importantly, remind us of the infinite possibilities that our faith allows us to contemplate. The sky keeps us guessing with its hidden gems. On a journey home to DC, a young boy with Down syndrome and his mom experienced a magical moment. The boy, using his mom's phone, accidentally snapped a pic that seemed to catch a shining figure, much like the guardian angel his mom cherishes. This wasn't just any old trip anymore, it felt like a sign from above. The boy's response, a heartwarming mimicry of flight, seemed to affirm the angel's presence, bringing his mom's faith to life. In 2020, over in China, despite being cooped up at home, folks saw something extraordinary. Figures that looked like angels paused in the sky, leaving everyone scratching their heads was this a stunt or just nature's play. Everyone had theories, from miracles to science, but one thing was sure it touched the hearts of those who saw it. Fast track to Boise, Idaho, back in 2015, when a sight straight out of ancient times left onlookers spellbound. A creature, with wings outstretched, soared over the city, sparking wide-eyed wonder and a host of wild theories. Despite the buzz, proof of these ancient flyers' existence remained elusive, leaving a trail of mystery and discussion about the secrets of the past. The scene shifted to Canada, where the wind played artist, sculpting a massive face in the clouds. This spectacle, almost like a celestial selfie, stirred the imagination of everyone who saw it, spreading rapidly online as folks mused about the creativity of the cosmos. In New York, a curious shadow over the city prompted fears, leading to a hasty shutdown of a landmark. But luck was on the city's side, no disaster followed, only relief and stories to tell. The narrative continues with a stunning sight in December 2019, where a phantom horse and a humanoid figure appeared in the skies, leaving viewers in awe and confusion. Was this a visitation from other realms or something more earthbound? This question remained unanswered even as people around the globe encountered their own unexplained wonders. So keep looking up, because the sky is full of stories, some explained, others waiting to be told. From a young boy's angelic encounter to the mystifying events worldwide, the heavens invite us to dream and ponder the mysteries wrapped in clouds and stardust. In the skies above Chilale, folks saw something huge that got them talking. Some said it was Jesus coming back, while others thought it was just nature acting up, like a big water tornado that didn't hit the ground. Yet, a few people thought it was a sign of something big about to happen. Then, over in Japan, in August 2018, someone on a plane caught on camera a huge thing floating up high big like a skyscraper, and it didn't move an inch. There was no volcano stuff around, so nobody could figure it out. It just hung there, like a big question mark in the sky. Next, imagine being at the beach in Singapore and seeing what looks like a giant dragon right before a storm crazy, right? Turns out it wasn't a TV prop, and nobody could explain it. Dragons don't just fly around in our time, or do they? The mystery kept everyone guessing. Life can get really weird sometimes. Like once in Slovakia, someone saw clouds make a spooky face and heard strange sounds, which scared everybody. It was like life turning into a thriller film. In another head-scratcher, folks in Western Australia saw a weird green cloud during a storm. Some thought it was weather experiments, or maybe even something from outer space trying to sneak away. But wait, there's more. In Royston, England, a family camping saw a flying thing with a glowing tail doing impossible moves in the sky. It was no plane, and it did stuff that had everyone questioning their eyes. It showed up, did its thing, and then poof vanished, leaving more questions than answers. Then there was this odd day on social media when a video showed a massive duck with shiny eyes up in the sky, which turned out to be just some clever computer tricks by a guy named McClan. And there's the jellyfish-like shape that someone saw floating in the sky in Oxborough, UK. It was there, then gone, and nobody could pin down what it was. Florida also had its share of weird sky stuff with a light show that had folks thinking of everything from space rockets to secret tests, or maybe aliens popping by. Even a pilot got a piece of the action, chasing what looked like flying junk that disappeared as if it was never there. Then, in Russia, people saw something that looked like a hole opening in the sky. And out in California, after New Year's, the clouds turned into a disco, shining and shifting in ways that had everyone mesmerized.
from supposed sea monsters in Canadian waters to square clouds and manta-shaped formations in India. The sky keeps on giving us these puzzles, reminding us that there's still so much out there that we just don't get yet. In a different corner of the world, deep within a Honduran cave, a sanctuary during troubled times, a missionary's camera captured something extraordinary. Amid the cave's shadows shone the outline of what many felt was an angel, a luminous symbol of protection and divine favor that left the villagers and visitors alike touched by a profound sense of grace. Journeying up to the Canadian north, under the ethereal dance of the northern lights, a photographer's lens unwittingly ensnared an image that defied explanation. Amongst the natural light show, there appeared a figure, so radiant and distinct, it whispered of angelic company, a comforting reassurance from the cosmos itself. Stateside in Georgia, a law officer's routine check of wildlife cameras unveiled a remarkable sight of figure of light, poised and serene. This sparked dialogue and wonder about the spiritual protectors that might walk unseen beside us, fanning the embers of imagination and belief in a realm that transcends our own. From a mysterious figure amidst the hustle of a Brazilian mall to the peaceful silhouette at a harrowing car crash in South Carolina, these narratives beckon us to entertain the notion of guardian angels in our midst. Further afield, a mother's post to Facebook stirred conversation. Her seven-year-old son, Asher, who has Down syndrome, captured an intriguing image from an airplane window, which she interprets as his guardian angel, accompanying him during a particularly turbulent flight. Every story, be it the angelic form amidst the 9-11's tribute lights or the comforting figure in a young warrior's fight against cancer, brings moments of quiet wonder. They challenge us to open our hearts to the extraordinary possibility that in our times of need, celestial sentinels might just be by our side. May the kindness and love that come from Jesus be with everyone. Amen. Imagine the astonishment of a Michigan family when their home security camera sent an unexpected alert. The footage revealed what they believed to be an angelic figure. In East Jordan, Michigan, a local pastor publicly shared a photograph that seems to capture an ethereal figure. Glenn Thorman, the fire chief, insists his home camera snapped an image of what he feels is a divine presence the image is unaltered and quite striking. Down in Charlotte, a mother believes a miraculous image captured on a hospital security camera is responsible for her daughter's recovery. The 14-year-old, Chelsea Banton, who has faced health struggles since her premature birth, was on the brink of succumbing to pneumonia when her mother witnessed what she understood to be a guardian angel on the monitor. A bright light stood by the door of Chelsea's hospital room, prompting a nurse with decades of experience to admit she had never seen anything similar. The peaceful feeling that followed was shared by the hospital staff, some moved to tears, as Chelsea began to recover unexpectedly. In another heart-stopping moment, a man describes an out-of-body experience during a traumatic accident. He reports seeing two immense angelic beings flanking the person trying to help him, providing what he perceives as divine intervention. Similarly, strange sightings during a church service have left attendees in awe, contemplating the possibility of angelic presence amidst their congregation. All these instances, remarkable and comforting, suggest to those involved that we're never truly alone that perhaps in moments of need or doubt, there's something celestial keeping watch over us. What's your take on these encounters? Are you moved to belief or do they leave you pondering? Dive into the discussion, and if you've ever felt a guardian angel in your life, your story is welcome here. In a world far removed from the neon dazzle of Los Angeles and the historic grandeur of European capitals, Jerusalem stands as the epicenter of a divine phenomenon. Within its ancient embrace, where history and faith intertwine among the weathered stones of the Western Wall, the Archangel Michael has chosen to manifest. In this city, where every cobblestone echoes with millennia of prayers, Michael emerges as a beacon of divine might, his presence a testament to the sacred narratives that have shaped our understanding of the cosmos. In Jerusalem, a city full of old stories and prayers, Something amazing happened that made everyone stop and stare. Up above the old walls where people have prayed for years, the sky showed something that looked like it came from a storybook. It looked like an angel was up there, with huge wings spread out, right over the western wall, where people come to talk to God. This wasn't something you'd see every day in a busy city. It was like a special secret from the sky, showing itself only in Jerusalem. People who saw it felt like they were seeing Archangel Michael, who is like a superhero from the Bible. He's supposed to be the leader of God's angels, fighting off bad spirits and keeping people safe. 
Michael is known for his big, strong wings and his glowing sword. People have told stories about him for a really long time, saying he helps when things are tough. In the Bible, he's like a brave knight fighting in the sky. And in 1967, during a big war when Israel was in danger, many believe that Michael was there, invisible, helping them win, even though they didn't have many soldiers. The sight in the sky got people talking and wondering. Was this a sign from heaven, or just a trick of the clouds? No one could say for sure, but in Jerusalem, a city where the past is always part of today, it felt like a message of hope and courage that's been around since the old times. Archangel Michael's role isn't just about earthly battles, it's much bigger. In stories about the end of the world, he's expected to play a key part in the ultimate fight against evil forces as our world edges towards turmoil and disorder. Michael is like a mighty hero for God's people, a shining light in a troubled world. So let's dive into ancient stories and history to celebrate Michael's constant presence. It's comforting to know that during life's ups and downs, we're not alone. Up in the sky, there's a powerful guardian whose commitment never falters, whose might is limitless in the face of trouble and the darkest nights. Let's give thanks for Michael's guidance and care. As long as he watches from heaven's gates, we're wrapped up in everlasting divine love and safety. As we look back in time, we see a story woven with signs of God's hand protecting Israel from stunning war victories to the astonishing things seen in battle. Take the Six-Day War of 1967 against all odds, Israel won, a clear sign of divine help. But God's care goes way past the battlefield. After fights, soldiers have reported seeing incredible sights above Israeli tanks a sign of God's constant protection during the chaos of war. Israeli soldiers stand strong and ready, proof of the divine shield around them. Everyone agrees that it's divine help at work. The story of God's care for Israel isn't just old tales. Recently a weather phenomenon, like a wall of storm clouds, stopped right at the border with Syria. It seemed to be a new example of God's care, keeping the nation safe. Israel's real power story is its never-give-up spirit. Despite over 2,500 years of being spread out and facing really tough times, from ancient exile to the Holocaust, the Jewish nation has always bounced back stronger. This spirit comes from their lasting belief and God's care throughout history. When we think about Israel, we remember the Bible's words, happy is the nation whose God is the Lord. Israel's story shows God's constant love and care for his chosen people. In the big picture of spiritual battles, angels have a special job they protect and guide those who believe as they go through life. Michael is the top angel, a powerhouse whose very name asks, who is like God. In the Bible, Michael leads heaven's armies against evil. One of the most incredible recent signs was when Michael was said to be seen above Israeli tanks, a powerful sign of invisible forces protecting those with faith. But angels do more than just show up in the world. In the spiritual world, they're always fighting evil to keep believers safe from harm and bad thoughts. Like the Apostle Paul says, we're not just fighting people, but bad powers and spirits in the heavens. It's good to know we're not fighting these big battles alone. Archangel Michael, historically Israel's divine ally in battle, remains ever-present, guarding and defending believers from dark forces even now. Delving into scripture, we find prophecies about the end times, and Israel's pivotal role is often highlighted. Take Zechariah 12.2, for example. It talks about Jerusalem becoming a focal point for global tensions, hinting at a future where the city is at the heart of a struggle between light and darkness. But Jerusalem isn't just a backdrop for end-of-days scenarios, it's central to God's plan for redemption. The Bible consistently shows God's dedication to Israel, vowing to return them to their esteemed position as His chosen. Consider Psalm 121.4. It reassures us that God's vigilance over Israel is constant. This protection is promised to all who seek God, but it's particularly evident in Israel's history of overcoming adversity. In modern times, Israel has seen a remarkable renaissance. From persecution and exile, the Jewish people have risen, swelling the population of their ancient land significantly, demonstrating God's enduring promise and care. Yet, with this rebirth, conflict looms as the Middle East brims with tension aligning with Jesus' warning in Matthew 24, 6 about wars and the anticipation of more to come. Despite the unsettling reality of these conflicts, there remains a beacon of hope, the promise of Christ's return and the beginning of His reign. As believers, we watch, pray, and stay alert, living in hope while we await the fulfillment of divine prophecies, 
looking forward to the dawn of a promised new age. Let's find solace in Apostle Paul's words, where he describes a vivid scene the Lord descending from heaven with a commanding shout, accompanied by the archangel's voice and the sound of God's trumpet. First, those who have passed away believing in Christ will rise, and then those of us who remain will join them up in the clouds to greet the Lord in the skies. This union with the Lord is promised to be eternal, as mentioned in 1 Thessalonians 4 16, 17. Beloved companions on this spiritual voyage, as we reach the end of this chapter filled with prophetic insights and divine acts, reflect on the profound nature of Archangel Michael's recent manifestation in Jerusalem. In the middle of this historic metropolis, amid the clatter of current strife, the emergence of this heavenly figure stands as a compelling testament to God's enduring guardianship and direction over his flock. Let's not hastily discount such occurrences as trivial or imaginary but rather remain open to the authenticity of divine activities in our lives today. As proclaimed by the psalmist, the angel of the Lord pitches a camp around those who revere him, delivering them from danger. In this uncertain world, it is reassuring to know we are under the vigilant watch of God's celestial army, ever ready to assist us instantly. However, our spiritual quest is far from over, it's just the start of a profound delve into the enigmas of belief and prophecy. We welcome you to sustain your scriptural journey, to unearth the eternal wisdom nestled within. Paul reminds us that all scripture is divinely inspired, beneficial for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and righteousness training. We invite you to become part of our community by subscribing to our channel. Join in the discussion below and share our message with those who might find encouragement in it. Throughout history, Jerusalem has stood as a city unlike any other, deeply revered in Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Its stones have borne witness to the footsteps of prophets, the prayers of pilgrims, and the tide of empires rising and falling. The appearance of a cloud formation resembling Archangel Michael, above such a historically rich tapestry, serves not only as a sign of divine watchfulness, but also as a reminder of the city's unique place in prophetic destiny. Archangel Michael, whose name in Hebrew means who is like God, is a principal figure in religious texts, embodying the fight against evil with his unwavering faith in God. In Christian theology, Michael is often seen as the leader of God's army, a patron saint of soldiers, and a guardian of the church. His depictions in religious art commonly present him as a warrior, often brandishing a sword and shield, signifying his role as a divine protector. The events of the Six-Day War in 1967, where Israel faced the combined might of neighboring armies, have often been woven into narratives of miraculous survival, evoking the image of Michael as a protective force. In Jewish tradition, Michael is considered the advocate of Israel, and his image is invoked in prayers for the nation's safety and prosperity. The more recent phenomenon of the storm cloud near the Syrian border that seemed to protect Israel has been interpreted by some as a continuation of this divine guardianship. This aligns with the Jewish belief in Hashgacha Pratit, or divine providence, which suggests that God intervenes in the world to protect and guide the Jewish people. Israel's story of enduring resilience, from the Babylonian exile and return under Persian rule to the modern establishment of the State of Israel in 1948, is seen by many as fulfillment of biblical prophecy. This narrative of survival and rebirth adds to the rich tapestry of Israel's history, highlighting a journey that many believe is guided by divine hand. In Christian eschatology, the second coming of Jesus Christ is preceded by signs and wonders, and the Archangel Michael is often associated with these end-time events. His role as a defender against evil and a herald of the second coming is prominent in Revelation, where Michael defeats the dragon, a symbol of evil, in a celestial battle. The scriptures be it the book of Daniel, which speaks of Michael's role in the end times, or the New Testament letters, which describe the return of Christ accompanied by the archangel provide a theological framework for interpreting these celestial signs and wonders. Adding these layers of religious history and theology helps us to see these events not just as curious anomalies, but as part of a larger narrative that has been unfolding over millennia. For the faithful, they serve as powerful symbols of the continuity of divine presence and action in human history. Let's form a fellowship of truth seekers, bound together in our pursuit of knowledge and comprehension. And now, let us join in prayer. Heavenly Father, we are grateful for the revelations and insights you've shared. May they linger in our hearts and guide us on our faith journey. We seek your shield and wisdom over Israel and all believers globally, that your purpose be fulfilled on earth as in heaven. 
We offer this prayer through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. With hopeful hearts and minds attuned to God's mysteries, let us carry on with belief, secure in the knowledge that we are enfolded in His love and veracity. Until we gather once more, may we continue walking in the luminescence of His divine presence. Spiritual vigilance is about more than just the rituals of religion, it's a commitment to live out the Bible's teachings purposefully and consciously every day. It's about being alert to the invisible battles between good and evil that surround us and readying ourselves to stay resilient when challenges come our way. Ephesians 6.12 reminds us that our real battle isn't against what we can see, but against the hidden forces that seek to lead us away from the path of righteousness. Yet, even as the world around us may be tumultuous and uncertain, there is a beacon of hope. 1 Peter 5.8 urges us to stay vigilant and disciplined, knowing that the enemy seeks to undermine our faith. This warning comes with a promise, too, that if we hold fast to God's truths, we can face down any spiritual assault. In this journey of faith, we should not be swayed by the distractions of life, but instead, keep our sights on the greater reward life everlasting through Christ. The parable of the wise virgins in Matthew 25 teaches us to be ready for Christ's return, not merely outwardly pious but truly prepared in our hearts, ready to surrender to Him who sacrificed everything. As we close this chapter, let us reflect on the marvelous signs and prophecies that signal Christ's return. In the throes of life's unpredictability, let's hold steadfast in our belief, secure in the knowledge that our redemption is forthcoming. Let's introspect to ensure our spiritual readiness for when Christ comes again. We invite you to carry this message within you, letting it fuel your daily intentions and actions as we eagerly anticipate the glorious day of our Lord's return. Keep seeking Him with sincerity for He is sure to keep His word. If this discourse has touched you, please join this community seeking truth and wisdom. Let's keep this conversation alive, learning and growing in faith together. Let us awaken to the signs of our times, to engage with the eternal truths that guide us through the storms, and to navigate the path laid before us with hearts uplifted in hope and eyes, fixed on the promise of redemption that dawns with each new day.